Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Wow, good evening. I guess you could tell what kind of a day it was if I'm saying good morning and welcome to the Daily Wrap. Uh, today was Friday the 14th of June 2024. It was an interesting day, to say the least. My day back from break. Um, today's podcast was certainly interesting. First of all, we talked about a variety of topics, but two of the interesting topics is that, number one, uh, I talked about Street Fighter Six and how after my Dalsim uh set on wednesday i kind of went back and watched the matches and was trying to figure it out and i definitely think that it's the the reason why at master level i'm sadly not getting consistently good results is because i just don't play enough at master level um nor do i think i would be able to at this point like i feel like the people playing as she fighter six are playing way more than me and i'm just having issues with execution and not knowing what to do in certain situations and it's it, you know it's me it's not the game. It's not input delay because the input delay has been solved. I think the netcode is really good. I just think that it's me at this point, and I don't know if I would be able to hang at a higher level because I don't play enough. You know, right now, I've been playing with five characters. That's too many to juggle, right? So in addition to that, um, I talked about a, a big variety of topics. The weirdest thing happened at the end of the podcast. Um, oh, by the way, I talked about Destiny 2. My wife's been playing Destiny 2. And I talked a little bit about that, and I was blown away because Destiny 2 actually seems good now. Go figure. I mean, you got to play it on a current-gen console. You can't play it on a last-gen console, but on a current-gen console, it runs really well. I have a whole segment about Destiny 2 on this podcast you should watch, okay? But anyway, the thing that really threw us for a loop. So we're getting near the end of the podcast. We have like 20 minutes left, and we're, doing, we're about to start doing shout-outs and Q&A. And all of a sudden, YouTube institutes this new thing that's called AI Chat Summary. So when you join the chat, all of a sudden, a text box appears at the top of the chat room saying, here's this AI summarizing what's going on in the chat. I had never seen it before. We're all reading it. It was hilarious. It misidentified the stream chatter Jordan as me. It actually said Jordan the streamer. And everyone's like, what? Like, who said Jordan was the streamer? No one said that. And so we kind of started joking about it. And the AI started saying ridiculous things. And then all of a sudden, it disappeared. So it was only on for like 20 minutes, 25 minutes tops of my stream. YouTube like turned it on as a demo and turned it back off right away. It was really weird. Like I didn't say I wanted AI in my chat. So the fact that it was there all of a sudden summarizing the chat was wild and interesting. So the podcast today was a, a good one, I would say. A pretty good one. Um, Fallout 4 today, pretty good as well. All Far Harbor content. Did a ton of questing for the Far Harbor people. Did a ton of questing for the Children of Adam. And uh, basically got to the point where I went and went to Acadia and met, I think, Dima is his name. And now we're going to start doing missions for them. And then we ran out of time. But I got a bunch of new weapons that were specific to Far Harbor. Uh, I leveled up a ton and started getting my build even more interesting. Now I have the ability that when I'm stabbing someone in VATS, I have a chance to just instantly get a critical. And so I'm doing it and it's getting better and better. I found gear. I have like 15 or 16 luck now. It's insane the bonus luck that I have. I was like, this is so broken right now. So anyway. Uh, pretty good chill stream, fun stream of Fallout 4 today, I would say. And now it looks like we'll continue on doing stuff for Acadia when I play tomorrow. Uh, sadly, tonight's stream of Street Fighter 6 was not a good one, and it's not because there was lag. It's not because, you know, input delay. It's because I use Lily, and I hate to say it, out of all the characters that have been tweaked for this update that they just did a few weeks ago, Lily got nothing. Like, the only thing they gave her is that if she does a full screen Meter burned Condor Spire move, which is the move where she moves forward. Then if it hits, she could do a level one super after it. And I think you could also do, like, you could always do level two. I think you could do level one and maybe even level three. But that's it. And it's only situational. It's not that good. I did use it a few times tonight, and it was great. But outside of that, they gave her nothing. They actually made her best normal, her low fierce punch, worse. It's still her best normal, by the way, because it combos and it's really good. But basically, she's the same. So the problem is, with everyone else in the game, People had to relearn the characters. Oh, with Honda now, he has hand combos and situations you have to relearn, and he's better. Ooh, with Zangief, oh my god. He's got better normals, big links, better stuff. He's much improved, right? Lily got nothing. So everyone already knows how to fight Lily, and sadly, she's bottom tier, and she's still bottom tier in this game. Like, she can't do anything against people who just play a pattern. It's pretty sad uh, that the pattern beats her 90% of the time, you know? You, if you get lucky and you, you stay at that range of someone and you're counter-hitting them, you're in the combos a few times, you can win. For the most part, to, especially top-tier characters who have really fast jumps, fast jabs, great throws, 
And the moment she gets in the corner, she has no tools. Literally, all they had to do to improve Lily, make it so that her meter burned wake up tomahawk buster, which is her Shoryuken move, is invincible on wake up when you when you meter burn it. Just like everyone else who has like a Shoryuken, it's invincible. Hers isn't. That's all they had to do. And no one can lock her down in the corner ever. You don't get throw loops. You don't get fucking bullshit traps. It's, she would be the same as Ryu, Ken, you know, uh, Juri, uh, Akuma, right? Luke. I keep going. Every top tier character. Every top tier character has a perfect wake up reversal to get out of the corner. She has nothing. So because of that, she gets dominated. The moment she's in the corner, she's game over unless you get lucky. And if you get lucky, now you have to reestablish yourself because you probably have no charge on your win move. And now it's like so much insane amount of work. You've got to give credit to people like El Chicote who are actually like winning with her because that is such an insane battle. And it's just not fair, honestly. It feels like someone's just beating you up and you're just like getting bullied and you're like, well, it's not fair. I just want to play a fighting game. You're like, well, well, you pick this character, so fuck you. You just keep getting bullied and, and fucking smacked around. Wow. So I'm going to be honest with everyone. I had a really bad time tonight. Like, I really didn't enjoy myself. I got a double perfect on someone in ranked. And then all of a sudden, I hit a certain point, and it was like, like literally like seven camis in a row. Luke. Every top-tier character dominates her. So every time I fought a top-tier, it was just like this, like a spanking. And I couldn't beat anyone. So I'm like, you know, I'm already playing five characters, and I don't have enough time to play them. Bison's right around the corner. So sadly, it looks like I'm probably going to drop Lily. I'm just being honest. Like, I feel like I'm already playing too many characters. And if I'm going to improve at master level, I have to narrow it down to less so I can spend more time with the characters I'm using. Right now, I like Honda's improvements. I've always liked Dalzim. And I'm I'm going to play with uh, Geef next. But I think Geef is one of the most improved characters in the game right now. Seriously. Um, and of course, Blanca is probably my best character. So Lily... I'm sorry, but that might have been the last hurrah for her. Maybe, you know, casually I'll play her moving forward. But, dude, that was just, that was sad. It really was. It was like, why am I, why am I torturing myself? I so badly, like, I just want to play someone else. I just want to pick fucking Zangi for something. I just want to do anybody else. Because she just is getting fucking slapped around. And it's sad because, again, if you get that one momentum with her, and you start counter hitting the enemy, you get giant combos, it's fun. But then the moment they start playing their top tier pattern mix up in the corner, you're, you just want to play anymore. Like, I, I give up. And, and one final thing, because I did explain this to the stream chat. They're like, well, what about the new universal wake-up move that everyone has? No, it's terrible. No one falls for it anymore. If you even try to do it once, they just stand there and block it. It's slow. They just stand there and block it and immediately destroy you. <laughs> so it's, it's literally a worthless move. And everyone kind of predicted that was going to happen, too, when they, they announced they were going to do a universal wake-up like that. Everyone was like, yeah, but it's, a, it's this slow move. It's not a good move. It's not like a, a universal crazy juggle them back move it's a slow animation move that comes out and people everyone just blocks it now like literally everyone just blocks it. they see it, oh and they block it on reaction and then they combo you <clears throat> so the move that was supposed to save the characters that don't actually have good wake up uh reversals to, it, it doesn't do anything so it worthless so at the few times i tried it every single person blocked it and just punished me for using it so yeah i'm sorry but i think lily is one of the worst characters in the game by far if not the worst now, maybe not the worst, but close. And while everyone else who I play got elevated, seriously, every character got elevated. I mean, Blanca didn't, but Blanca was already great. You know, the other characters all got elevated. She just stayed at the bottom. And it's just worse now with every other character better. Like Luke, they improved. So imagine now Luke, who already beat Lily, now is improved and you're trying to beat it. And, it, and people already know the way to beat Lily because they didn't change her. You know, it's just like crazy. Everyone else had to be relearned. And, and Lily, it's like, well, stay at the bottom, stay down there and you're bullying her. It's fucked up. Someone should contact Capcom and say, you know, the, the anti-bullying campaign, they're getting in big trouble. They bullied Lily. Deserve it. <laughs> really? Anyway, so it was. It sucked. I lost a ton tonight, and it's like, whatever. All right, so tomorrow. Tomorrow on the podcast, I'm not sure what we're doing. Uh, we don't have much to talk about. We'll have to see. Maybe we'll do suggestion box. And uh, then more Fallout, where we're going to continue with Far Harbor. I'm thinking if we do all Far Harbor again tomorrow, which we're probably doing, we may be near the end of it, right? Because I think it's all the Arcadia missions, and then we have, like, to finish what we wanted to do with Children of Adam, whatever we want to do with that, um, and then we're near the end. So we may finish it tomorrow, maybe one more stream, and we'll actually finish Far Harbor. Tomorrow night is the return of Stardew Valley. You guys absolutely loved Stardew Valley the other night. Well, we're bringing it back. So Stardew Valley coming back for its second session. I'm excited. I had a great time with it last time around. I was learning different elements of the game and everything. I can't wait for another night of learning and chill fun and interaction and hanging out with all of you. Polar opposite of me being frustrated in Street Fighter tonight. So, all right. So, guys, that is it.
for tonight. Thank you all for a great day. I will see you all in the morning. Have a good night. Peace out and see you later. Bye-bye.